Another set of macromolecules that are very important for life are nucleic acids, which we'll talk about in this video. Nucleic acids are polymers of monomeric units called nucleotides. A nucleotide consists of three components, namely a phosphate group, a 5-carbon sugar, and a nitrogenous base. The phosphate group is linked to the sugar molecule, and this molecule in turn links to the nitrogenous base. If you look at the structure of a nucleotide, the phosphate group is bonded to carbon number 5 of the sugar molecule. The carbons are numbered 1 through 5 in the clockwise direction. The sugar, in turn, is connected to the nitrogenous base. These three components make up a nucleotide. The sugar in the nucleotide can be one of two kinds. The first is ribose, that has a hydroxyl group attached to carbon number two. Nucleic acids that contain ribose as a sugar are called ribonucleic acids or RNA. Deoxyribose contains a hydrogen linked to the second carbon of the sugar. Nucleic acids that contain deoxyribose as the sugar are called deoxyribonucleic acids or DNA. The nitrogenous base can be a pyrimidine or a purine. It is the sequence of these bases that stores genetic information in nucleic acids. These monomeric nucleotides polymerize to form nucleic acids. The linkage that forms between nucleotides is called a phosphodiester linkage, and it occurs between the phosphate group on the 5' prime carbon of one nucleotide and the hydroxyl group on the 3' prime carbon of another nucleotide. This phosphodiester bond forms through a condensation reaction. There are two types of nucleotides involved in the process. Ribonucleotides in the case of RNA and deoxyribonucleotides in the case of DNA. During the condensation reaction, the 3' prime hydroxyl group of one nucleotide combines with the 5' prime phosphate on the second nucleotide to form a phosphodiester linkage with the release of a water molecule. As a result of this kind of linkage, the sugar phosphate backbone develops a directionality. The one end has an unlinked 5' prime carbon and the other end has an unlinked 3' prime carbon. Therefore, the nucleotide sequence is written as 5 prime to 3 prime. This reflects the order in which the nucleotides are added to a growing nucleic acid molecule. The nucleic acid's primary structure is the sequence of these nucleotides. If you look at an image of one strand of a nucleic acid, you can see that there is a 5 prime phosphate group that is unattached at one end and a 3' prime hydroxyl group that is unattached on the other end. During polymerization, new nucleotides are added to this end of the growing polymeric chain. This concludes our video about the overview of nucleic acids. At the end of this section, I would like for you to be able to answer these two basic questions about nucleic acids. Thank you.